Hi, I'm Dan Hudson and I've been swinging a camera since I was in the second grade. And today I'm here to give you five simple tips that will greatly improve your photography. The first tip is to get close, unless it bites. I want you to fill up the frame with the subject of whatever you're taking a picture of. I mean, this gives it so much more drama and to make sure that the viewer understands exactly what the subject is. Which takes me to the second point. You need to have a subject in what you're showing me. If you're looking through the camera, through the camera viewfinder, always ask yourself, why am I showing this picture to someone? And if you have to use a lot of words to explain what's in it or why it's in it or, or what that little tiny dot is that's far, far away in it, then keep moving the camera around until it is very clear that you have a subject. Basically go back to the first point and fill up the frame with a dominant item and this will give your pictures a subject, a meaning, a story to some, to some degree. Now, the third item I want to tell you about is who told you to stand up straight when you're taking a picture? Of course your mama told you to stand up straight, but I want you to roll over, crawl under, play dead like a dog, whatever. Just don't take pictures at eye level. You see so many people at, at on vacation that are pointing the camera right up here, click, 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 click. They're painting the world as everybody sees it, as they saw it, which is Fair, but you want to add drama and show me something different. Don't show me an everyday shot. I want to see you go under with your camera. I want to see your camera over. I want to go to the side. Whatever is different. Like I said, roll over and play dead like a dog. Crawl up under it and give me a different view of that subject. And then your picture will have much more drama, much, much more eye appeal. On the fourth point, your camera is not a gun. Don't shoot things in the center. When you put things dead square in the center, it becomes very static, and people's eyes will wander away from your picture. I want you to move things a little bit off base. I'm sure your brain is a little bit off base. The brain likes things a little bit out of balance. So I want you to move the subject to be about one third away from the side, or one third away from the top or the bottom. Just, uh, it's called the rule of thirds. Just don't put it in the center, put it a little bit to the side, and the interest level in your photo photography will definitely go up. Now, on the last point, look for patterns and shapes. The brain will follow patterns, and you need shapes and patterns to bring fluidity and motion to your picture, and it will pull the eye in to the subject matter. Now, this goes back to the first two. Fill up the frame, have a subject, and the last one gives pathways to help the eye get to the subject and stay on the subject, and that helps the viewer to have the same experience that you were having when you took this picture. Well, those are five simple tips. I want you to go out and practice them. doesn't matter what kind of camera you can have. You can have a phone camera, you can have a point and shoot, you can have a DLSSR. Those five tips apply to photo competition and have nothing to do with the technology. So I want to see your camera out and about, and thank you very much. Again, this is Dan Hudson swinging his camera.